Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So, today's video on the warning signs of colon cancer. Colon cancer, also known as colorectal cancer, is the third most common cancer worldwide. It affects both men and women and is more commonly seen in people over the age of 50. The colon, also known as the large intestine, is responsible for removing waste and water from the body. When cancer develops in the colon, it can grow and spread to other parts of the body if not detected and treated early. But the good news is that colon cancer is highly preventable and treatable if detected early. In this video, we will discuss the warning signs of colon cancer that you should not ignore. So, let's get started. Warning number one, changes in bowel movements. Now, we know talking about poop may not be the most glamorous topic, but it's an important one. Have you ever had one of those days where you're glued to the toilet, unable to leave because of diarrhea? Or perhaps you're experiencing the opposite problem, where you're constipated and can't seem to go at all. Well, if you're experiencing these symptoms for more than a few days, it's time to take a closer look. You see, changes in bowel movements can be an early sign of colon cancer. The colon is responsible for removing waste and water from the body, so when something is amiss, it's worth investigating. Now don't worry, just because you're experiencing a change in bowel movements, it doesn't necessarily mean you have colon cancer. But it's important to be aware of any changes in your body and to talk to your doctor if you have any concerns. In addition to diarrhea and constipation, you may notice a change in the consistency of your stool or how often you go to the bathroom. These changes could be due to a number of things, such as a change in diet or a bacterial infection, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Don't forget to check out the link in the description below for even more information on colon cancer, including resources for support and treatment. It's just a click away, so go ahead and give it a peek. Warning number two, blood in stool. So imagine you're on the toilet, minding your own business, and you look down to see red streaks in your poop. It's like a scene from a horror movie, except it's happening to you. Don't panic just yet, because not all blood in stool is a sign of colon cancer but it's definitely worth paying attention to. It's important to know that not all blood in stool is a cause for concern. Sometimes hemorrhoids or anal fissures can cause bleeding, and these are relatively common and usually not serious. But if you're experiencing blood in your stool and you're not sure why, it's important to talk to your doctor. Now let's talk about the science behind it. The colon is part of your large intestine, and it's responsible for removing water and salt from your poop before it exits your body. When something goes wrong in the colon, like a tumor, it can cause bleeding. That blood then mixes with your poop, resulting in the dreaded red streaks. One of the potential causes of blood in stool is colon cancer. When a tumor grows in the colon or rectum, it can cause bleeding that is visible in the stool. This bleeding may be bright red or dark, and it's usually not accompanied by pain. So how do you know if the blood in your stool is a cause for concern? Well, it's always better to err on the side of caution and talk to your doctor. But some red flags to look out for include blood in the stool that is persistent or occurs frequently, blood that is mixed in with the stool rather than just on the surface, or blood that is accompanied by other symptoms like abdominal pain or unexplained weight loss. Warning number three, abdominal pain or cramping. Sure, let's talk about the third warning sign of colon cancer, abdominal pain or cramping. Now, who doesn't love a good stomach ache, am I right? Just kidding, nobody loves stomach pain. It can be a real buzzkill when you're trying to enjoy your day, but it can also be a sign of something more serious. Abdominal pain or cramping is a common symptom of colon cancer, especially if it persists for more than a few days or is accompanied by other symptoms. The pain may be mild or severe and can feel like a constant ache or come and go in waves. But don't let the thought of stomach pain scare you. It's important to remember that there are many possible causes of abdominal pain, and colon cancer is just one of them. Other common causes include indigestion, gas, or menstrual cramps. If you're experiencing abdominal pain or cramping for more than a few days, it's worth checking in with your doctor. They can help you determine the cause of the pain and recommend appropriate treatment. In addition to pain, you may also experience bloating or a feeling of fullness in your abdomen. Again, these symptoms could be due to a number of things, but it's always better to err on the side of caution and talk to your doctor. If you're finding this information helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. 
Warning number four, weakness or fatigue. Well, 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 it looks like weakness and fatigue are back on the menu, but this time we're talking about their potential connection to colon cancer. So, imagine you're feeling weak and fatigued all the time, like you just can't seem to get out of bed in the morning. You might be tempted to blame it on a late-night Netflix binge or a busy schedule, but what if there's something more sinister at play? Enter colon cancer. Now you might be wondering how a disease that affects your poop shoot could be related to weakness and fatigue, but hear me out. When colon cancer starts to grow, it can cause a blockage in your colon, making it harder for waste to pass through. This can lead to symptoms like abdominal pain, constipation, and, you guessed it, weakness and fatigue. Colon cancer can cause anemia, a condition where you don't have enough red blood cells to carry oxygen to your body's tissues. Without enough oxygen, you may feel weak or tired even when you haven't exerted yourself. But don't worry, there's no need to panic if you're feeling a bit sluggish. Feeling tired could be due to a number of things, such as stress, lack of sleep, or even a poor diet. However, if you're experiencing persistent fatigue, it's worth talking to your doctor to see if there's an underlying issue. In addition to weakness or fatigue, you may also notice other symptoms of anemia, such as dizziness or shortness of breath. Again, these symptoms could be due to a number of things, but it's always better to get checked out by a medical professional. Warning number five. Unintentional weight loss. Now I know what you're thinking. Losing weight without trying sounds like a dream come true. But before you start celebrating, let's take a closer look at what's really going on here. When you lose weight unintentionally, it means you're dropping pounds without making any changes to your diet or exercise routine. This can happen for a variety of reasons, like an overactive thyroid, stress, or, you guessed it, colon cancer. When colon cancer starts to grow, it can cause changes in your bowel habits, like diarrhea or constipation. This can make it harder for your body to absorb nutrients from food, leading to weight loss. And if the cancer spreads to other parts of your body, like your liver, it can also affect your metabolism and cause further weight loss. Unintentional weight loss is a common symptom of colon cancer, especially if you've lost 5% or more of your body weight in a short period of time. This weight loss may be accompanied by a loss of appetite or feeling full after eating very little. But that's not all. Colon cancer can also cause a decrease in the absorption of nutrients from the food you eat. This means your body isn't getting the energy and nutrients it needs to function properly, which can lead to weight loss and a host of other symptoms. Warning number six, family history of colon cancer. Alrighty, it's time to talk about family history and its potential connection to colon cancer. Don't worry, I'll do my best to make this engaging, funny, and detailed. So imagine you're sitting down for Thanksgiving dinner with your family. Everyone's passing the turkey, the stuffing, and the cranberry sauce, and everything seems normal. But then your aunt starts talking about how she was diagnosed with colon cancer last year, and suddenly the room gets a little quieter. Now you might be thinking, oh, that's too bad for auntie, but it doesn't really affect me, right? Wrong. Turns out, having a family history of colon cancer can increase your own risk of developing the disease. But how? Well, researchers believe that about 5-10% of colon cancer cases are caused by inherited gene mutations. If someone in your family has one of these mutations, it can increase the likelihood that you'll develop colon cancer as well. But don't panic just yet. Just because someone in your family has colon cancer doesn't mean you're definitely going to get it too. However, it does mean you should start paying closer. Attention to your own health and getting screened for colon cancer earlier and more frequently than someone without a family history. And if you're feeling a little anxious about it all, remember that knowledge is power. By being aware of your family history and taking steps to prevent colon cancer, you're actually taking control of your health and reducing your risk. Plus, you can always use Auntie's diagnosis as an excuse to get her to pass you another slice of pie. And there you have it, folks. The six warning signs of colon cancer that you should never ignore. Remember, colon cancer is a serious but treatable condition, and catching it early is crucial to successful treatment. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more health tips and advice. And be sure to tune in to our next video where we'll be discussing the top 8 anti-aging foods to eat after 50. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.